I am stand up paddle boarding bright and early in Lake NSC. Right here, as you can see, it's a beautiful lake, tons of adventures all around. But instead of kayaking, we're going to test out stand up paddle boarding. Kind of nervous, not gonna lie. Today on Logan Lee Adventures is day two of the Savoy Mont Blanc and Annecy Mountains press trip with check-in PR with more French Alps epicness. Kicking start day two of Anase with some coffee at this lakeside joint and then we're gonna do some lakeside activity. Well, not even lakeside activity, activities in the lake too, which I'm really stoked for. All right, this is my outfit for stand up battle boarding, okay? Like, I, I refuse to wear a wetsuit. We have enough wetsuit trauma from summer camp in Switzerland, all right? So no wetsuit for me. I'm determined, okay? I'm determined not to fall in. But I don't know if I can bring my phone in because, I mean, they say iPhones are waterproof, but mm, let's not put that to a test yet. So I'm just gonna... Life jackets, of course. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna just put my phone in my life jacket and then I'm gonna try to take it out you on the adventure with me for stand up paddle boarding. We're starting off quite early and you can see how beautiful this lake is. With all those mountains here, it is breathtaking. Okay, then we have our paddles here with our left back on that one. All right, I am paddle, left jacket up. Let's do this. Now we're gonna grab a board and then head out onto the lake. This beautiful lake. Ah. What a way to start the morning in the NSA region. Let's see how I'm going to get on this. <laughs> but the water is quite warm for an autumn day. It's about 21 degrees, I heard. And it doesn't feel cold at all. All right, so now me and Juliet are switching to kayaks because we want to try both activities in the gorgeous lake. So there she goes off with her kayak. This is my kayak right here. Oh my God, I am loving this morning of activities. The water is so warm. It's only 21 degrees, which is crazy for autumn. And look how crystal clear this water is. You got in? The water is in my butt. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming. with the mountain view. I mean, I would love to spend each morning like this because it's so relaxing actually, even though you're doing like a physical activity. It really reminds me of my days at summer camp. Because summer camp in Switzerland, we just did this on the lake too, and in Austria. But now I get to do it in the French Alps, which is such a cool experience as well because these mountains, of course, are different. The Alps are different from this side, as you can see. And I just love the water here. Because you were like basically the only one. Ooh, there's a helicopter. I'm gonna show you guys that. It's 
casual flight across the French Alps. Welcome to Natural Reserve Boot de Lac which is this beautiful natural reserve that is built to protect this part of the lake because there's numerous wildlife, different water birds, there's even a European beaver, which I did not know beavers exist as a Canadian. I did not know beavers existed outside of North America. So shame on me because now I know there's a European beaver. And so this part, because there's already a lot of you know, like winter lodges, summer homes around the lake. But here in this part, particular part of the lake, it's this reserve was built to protect that. So you can't construct or build any more buildings, which is really nice. This biodiversity around the lake is so rich. There's different beaches, different like waterways. So it's nice that all of this is protected as well is so cool. So in the nature reserve and all around these regions, there's an annual architectural festival. So different architectures from around the world submit their different proposals and designs to create an eco-green like design of these huts. So there's about 12 huts all around and each hut gets built. They're chosen and basically they're supposed to be around the theme of giving you a unique view into nature here. So here you get this perspective. How lovely, right? And so this hut was like selected from this architect and there's like different uh, rules to create them. One is you have to use wood from this region and each November, so each, I think June, May, June, they get built and then November they get taken down and they get rebuilt again and get placed all around the different areas of this region. So it's really nice to come see nature from a different perspective but from an architectural lens along your walk. There's these red berries everywhere in the trees. It looks so delicious. And this beautiful pathway of the nature reserve actually goes straight out into the lake. At the near end of the walkway, I reach a dedicated spot in the reserve that looks out to Lake Annecy and it just feels like such a local secret to be here. With this opening, you can really see how blue the waters are. The colors of the lake actually comes from the plankton that's at the bottom of the lake. Hence, the emerald-like crystal blue water colors that looks just so unreal to what we usually picture of water. Proof that the beaver, the European beaver exists. Look at his little cute footprints. Now walking through these thickets of weeds and it's just so beautiful. You know I'm a city boy through and through, but I have my nature moments and Anase is the place to unplug and just unwind and just really reconnect with yourself and the surrounding like that, that earth is. Different wildlifes that we may spot. Sanglia, a Huron down here. Oh. Okay. This type of fish. There. What a treasure. So all along the lake is 39 kilometers of just dedicated cycle path. So you can see here you can drive along the lake. But right next to it is a cycle path that makes it easy and safe for you to just like bike all along. And it's about, yeah, so 39 kilometers all around the lake. And that takes about like three hours to do. And as you can see, you can pit stop, sit on the rocks, enjoy the view. Life's good here. I love how like they built the cycle path on purpose to be right by the water. Thank you.
So now it's time for lunch at this restaurant. Just across the road. Yes, something. Cherry liquor. It's a homemade uh, Homemade. Everything is homemade here apart from the bread. No, homemade. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Every fish that we eat here at the restaurant is fresh from the lake to the point that the restaurant doesn't even have a freezer. One of the highlights to try at this restaurant that revolves around the lake gastronomy is the crayfish bisque. The crayfish are caught each day from the lake. With alpine cheese and meats are often associated with the mountains, Annecy has the privilege of seafood from its lake balancing the local gastronomy. We've arrived at this stunning place for a soap making workshop. So we're going to be making our own artisanal soap from a expert who barrages and grows her own flowers, herbs, and veggies and this spot in the nook of the French Alps. Our place? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you have the, the smell of the soap, the smell of plants, yeah. the smell of everything. Yeah. Look at all these colors. So that's what you will do today. It's a, a soap and tomorrow you will uh, cut it in uh, six or eight parts. And uh, then you can, uh, so you can offer it to your friends. Uh, ingredients. And there is one ingredient. Uh, which is a, a little bit uh, dangerous. That's why you, you, we we have to protect uh, each other. Uh, it's time for us to get our science experiment on. Uh, and uh, when the people come to learn soap, after I, I send them a, a PDF with all the different bottles. In each bottle, you have a plant uh, that I use in the garden, and I. Put it in oil. Soap making process going on. I'm whisking my cocoa and olive oil together. Let me just check the temperature. You can choose one, two, three, if you like, or just one. Now I get to pick my soap color and what I want in the soap. So I'm thinking between like all these beautiful colors, maybe this deep green color. This is a really nice green. How many teaspoons? How many teaspoons? You can buy two tablespoons or four teaspoons. Okay, four teaspoons. This is seaweed. Seaweed. Ooh. And it kind of smells like seaweed. <laughs> so, just one more teaspoon. Perfect. And now I select these ones. I know this one is good for exfoliation. And these are like lavender. So, I'm going to add a few of these flowers in. Okay, now I have all the selections that I want and then we're going to combine like it yeah. to style yeah. my little style. Freestyle? Freestyle. Oh yeah. It's a freestyle. Jackson Pollock. Now that I mix everything in, so I'm going to have two colors. I'm going to have seaweed, green, as well as this rosé color. And now I can play with it, just like baking. So I'm going to see, I guess I'm going to make like different layers to my soap because I want like a pink layer and then a green layer, then a pink layer. And 
So this morning we kept it like this. So it's a, a machine that we find in India. So it cuts the plants, oh. go in a white uh, pot and after we put it in, in the dryer and we want like the plants uh, sing, you know, it's like when it's oh. crunchy, very crunchy, it's okay and after I put in a big bag and it, it goes to the client. We, we put plants, so this is melis, officinal, uh, officinal uh, melis, it smells uh, like uh, uh, lemon, maybe you can... the request of the client, I try to find uh, the good place where the plant is, uh, is, uh, okay. is okay and I have to, uh, to find a lot. Now we're heading up into the gardens, so her own personal gardens with all the flowers that she also forages here and picks from here but she also forages from all around this region in the French Alps. This is for the bees. Là au dessus on met le, dessus c'est quoi On met le sirop. Donc là c'est du sirop que je... Is up, you can find it in the chartreuse, dans la boisson. You can smell it, it's really... Mm. In liqueur, but also mm. for. Oh, wow. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. You want to do it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. After our soap making day, we're going to be checking into our hotel now. As you can see, I'm walking with the goodie bags and the luggage. And we're going to check into the hotel right in the middle of Dong which is this cute alpine town just around the NSC area in Savoy Mont Blanc. Oh my god, this town is so beautiful. Look at these pastel colored houses and this church here too. Definitely going to be exploring it later on. But first, Hotel du Midi, which is right in the middle of town right here. Let me show y'all Hotel du Midi, my room. Uh, honestly, it's huge. I have this whole place to myself. Okay, I should actually turn it on. The lights here, this is the showers, the bathroom. Nice. I really have this whole suite to myself. Everyone on our pressure has their own separate suite, which is really cool. This is our bedroom. Really, really gorgeous view of the town. Step out, you can already hear the sound of the town. Look at that church! What is so beautiful? It's like a very classic French church or cathedral. And it feels so cool to be in the center of town and just looking out into the town square, seeing the local pharmacy there, <laughs> the church, the cars driving through, and of course. The Alps of Savoie, Mont Blanc, all around us. Okay, I'm gonna come in and then freshen up for dinner because we're gonna go out to dinner in a little bit. So I'm just gonna freshen up, chill, and then take you on along this gastronomical journey. Sante. Indeed, we are having a multi-course dinner at Restaurant du Commerce that's just basically spanning four hours tonight. But you know, for the French, food isn't just something to just fill up the hunger. It's a way of life. It's intimacy, it's love, it's culture and art. And if you take your time enjoying it, it's an appreciation of the ingredients and the craftsmanship as well as the creativity of the chef. So epic. I cannot wait to take a bite into this foie gras. All right, here we go. Mm. So creamy. 
It is. My taste bud is, is singing right now. There's also this ravioli right here too. The standout staple dishes here that I highly recommend to experience French cuisine are the delicate foie gras for starters, the gamey roast duck for your main, and this blackberry tart for dessert. The blackberries are picked from the mountains and you can tell because there are these tiny pearls rather than the mass produced big ones we know in most grocery stores. Trust me, I'm still dreaming of these blueberries and the crumbly pastry tart it was built on to this day. That's a wrap for day two of my press trip. Tune in to day three and four of Savoy Mont Blanc coming right up.